The drug trade has been identified as one of the root causes of crime in the country. Noting this, National Security Minister the Honorable Marvin Dame says researchers have found that a significant number of murders over the last decade were either directly or indirectly related to drug abuse and its use. His comments come as June 26th is observed as International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. And today, the Anti-Drug Secretariat held an exhibition at the Mall at Marathon to heighten awareness to the dangers of drugs. While addressing those in attendance, the National Security Minister revealed some startling statistics. In 2016, drug offenders comprised 25% of the Rwandan population and 15% of the sentence population. The vast majority of offenders were young males between the ages of 18 and 35 with very low educational attainment. Needless to say, the challenges associated with illicit drugs are indeed complex. In order to successfully combat these challenges, we must constantly conduct research to study its complexities and tailor our strategies accordingly. Former drug addict Walter Dean knows firsthand the damage that drugs can do. The 55-year-old says his life spiraled out of control at a very young age, but after a six-month stint at the Sandilands Rehabilitation Center, he left the facility sober. He admits he wasted most of his life doing foolishness, and he's hoping his story serves as a deterrent to youngsters. The cocaine sent me down a, a bad road where um no, nowhere to live, nothing to eat, eating out the garbage, robbing, stealing again, waking in people's house, cooking in your house. You ch buy your children toys for Christmas, I selling them. You come to the food store, you buy your grocery. I used to sell it with snatch your bag from your coming out of the food store, going in. I was that seller. 